you've seen him around town, haven't you? I have. The mysterious young man who passes like a ghost through the tranquil falling snow. The drifter with the paper umbrella, his endless footprints on a destination to nowhere. He lives life off the grid. He has no home, no significant other. Aside from the charm for safe childbirth adorned around his neck, he has no possessions. People all around town talk about him, spin tales about him. Few people have ever approached him. Nobody knows the man's true name. That is, except for me. You want to know? They call him Yasukichi, the Egg Catcher Man. Why is he called the Egg Catcher? Well, he happens to be a high-order martial artist whose striking speed rivals that of Ranma's Amaguriken technique. Not many have seen it in action, but it is said that his speed is so precise that he could pluck a whole dozen eggs out of mid-air and place them in their carton. Yasukichi has embraced this nickname and has an unusual affinity for eggs. He may be the world's only hardcore egg fan. He loves eggs. He studies them meticulously. There's not an egg that he doesn't know. He can tell you when it was hatched, when it will spoil, how good it will taste, and how to best use it. He even owns a subscription to Egg Weekly magazine. So serious is his love for eggs, that he searches the world for a woman who shares his love for eggs, so that he may take her as his bride. Now I'm being serious. I'm not yolking. <laughs> The egg catcher's name carries a lot of weight. People who don't even know him tell stories of his exploits. He has a genuine mystique about him. If only these people knew him a little better. This guy, in all honesty, is a few eggs short of an omelet. Do not be fooled by his soft appearance. He is a skinny, pencil-thin little nerd, and not the book-smart kind. Not only is he as soft in the head as a soft-boiled egg, but he is clumsy and cowardly as well. He can put on a good show for the ladies, but at the core, his personality leaves much to be desired. He talks to himself often, and you get the kind of vibe from him that he thinks his shit don't stink. One of the few people to ever get close to Yasukichi is the eldest of the Tendo daughters, Kasumi. Kasumi happens to have a great love for all foods, including eggs. Of all the potential brides Yasukichi has seen in his travels, she is perhaps the only one who is egg-ceptional. <laughs> yeah, you know you like that one. They would make the perfect couple. With his knowledge of eggs and her skills at cooking, why, they could potentially create the most wondrous dishes known to man! Now, I know what you're thinking, because I'm thinking it too. What about Dr. Tofu, the Tendo family physician? Though Yasukichi's feelings for Kasumi are unclear at best, Tofu's love for Kasumi is no secret. Even a blind man can see that this guy is head over heels for her, and who knows, maybe she is into him as well. This would be a strong relationship if somebody would just drudge up the cojones to make the first move. This childish flirting and tongue-tied foolery has been going on for quite a while now, and could go on forever. Could you blame Yasukichi for stepping in and making the interception? No, you really couldn't, but a certain chain of events would make what should be an easy decision into something a little more of a scrambled mess. <laughs> Wandering through a dark Tokyo alleyway, Yasukichi was attacked and mauled by a rabies-infested mutt. Bruised, bloodied, and beaten like an egg, Yasukichi showed up on the doorstep of his unknowing adversary, Dr. Tofu. Tofu patched him up, nursed him back to health, and even allowed him to stay at the office until he was fully healed. Yasukichi admired Tofu's selflessness. Here Tofu didn't know him from a hole in the wall and still he cared for him. The two built a strong friendship, and Yasukichi made a silent vow to repay the good doctor. Someday. Somehow. Upon realizing that Tofu and Kasumi were a couple in dire need of a jumpstart, Yasukichi found himself in a bit of a pickle. More like a pickled egg. What will this young man do? Will he remain true to his buddy and play matchmaker in an utterly hopeless romance? Or will he follow the path of his own personal happiness and go after Kasumi himself for the betterment of eggs all across the world? I can't reveal everything right this minute. If you want the answer, you're gonna have to do your own digging. And so, 
at least to my estimation. That is the story of Yasukichi, the Egg Catcher Man. He is constantly on the move, walking the streets, traipsing the alleys, climbing the hills, skulking the valleys, an apparition who is more human than one would think. As the layers of his personality are pulled back, it is evident that he is just like you or I, a flawed man with a loving heart, a man whose past is concealed in perplexity, though it may be more familiar than one would think. Until he finds his confidant, Yasukichi will make heads turn, make people talk, and stupefy all he comes in contact with. On this is Harrowing Expedition. Why? What? It was no worse than any of the others I've seen. This has been a Runma One Hand Character Profile. Special thanks go out to Amber Angel 999 and Guy Buddyson for the request.